I'm so glad you decided to stop by today. I have an important message for you. Everyone is born with a mission and a message, and my message is to help you take back your power in terms of wellness by developing a home inventory of natural wellness options. What's in your toolbox? If something comes up with your body or someone in your home, what do you have on hand to offer some soothing support in a safe and natural way? For me, in my wellness journey, essential oils were an absolute game changer. My background is, nutri is, is in nutrition and public health, but today I just want you to think of me as the girl next door who's interested in natural wellness options. Several years ago, I needed to give my body some extra wellness support and I had tried many, many different natural wellness options, but the essential oils proved to be safe, effective, often giving immediate results. I love the concept of taking back your power, but it takes some personal responsibility. Wellness begins when your feet hit the floor in the morning. I'm not opposed to, tra to um, traditional medicine, but what I've seen recently is a downward spiral for people who really depend totally on prescription medication in place of personal wellness. For example, when you get up in the morning, what do you have for breakfast? Have you thought about getting any movement during the day? These are all the things that add up to make a difference and allow you to be in the driver's seat when it comes to your own health. Our bodies are like a personal cocktail um, where, where of chemicals that we're exposed to on a daily basis. Most women with the products that they put on before breakfast are exposed to 80 chemicals even before they leave, leave the house. Um, according to um, the Environmental Working Group, um, in the past 11 years, the European Commission has banned over 13,000, over 1,300 products, whereas in the United States, we've only banned 11 chemicals from personal care products. They're just not testing. And if you're like me, you just assume that if it was on the shelf, it was safe. But this is definitely not the case. As a matter of fact, everything in pink in this picture is a known or a probable carcinogen. And these are in products that we're using every day. So going chemical free is the only way to truly protect your body. Back in the day, as there were many uses for plants and it was not unusual for women in the neighborhood to be in charge of family wellness. Uh, they would typically uh, take something from outside and, re and uh, use it to create some type of soothing um, application. The woman in the middle is actually my great-grandmother who initially lived in Europe and then moved to New York. And she was just one of those people who, uh, you know, the families in the neighborhood came to. And she would typically go out into the garden, pick something, and boil it in honey to make a soothing application to restore wellness. So what we're going to be focusing on today is essential oils. And these are not new. They go back 5,000 years. We're just rediscovering their wonderful properties. I like to think of having a helper in every home, a person who's familiar with or has a little inventory of wellness solutions so that if something comes up, you're not automatically running to the phone, being on hold for 20 minutes, and then running around only to get, you know, something that may not even be helpful. Essential oils come from plants. They're extracted from the petals, the leaves, the roots, all parts of plants. And they're very different from cooking oils. Cooking oils are fatty, whereas the essential oils actually are a very tiny molecule and they evaporate within seconds. 
the oils are mentioned in scripture over 400 times. And this is one of the books um, that I found most interesting that goes through this story. And, and so uh, in scripture, you will not find much in terms of how to use them because it was common knowledge because the oils were, were just part of their, um, their, their inventory, essentially. They're so simple and easy to use. You can just apply them to your skin. You can inhale them or put them in a diffuser. Or you could put a drop in your tea. One of my favorite uses of essential oils is emotional support. When you inhale an essential oil, it goes immediately to the amygdala. And that's an area of the brain where we store emotions or traumatic memories. And so the oils can be used to help us process um, old memories that could be there even from childhood. And they're wonderful for just um, calming and um, giving you a, a sense of emotional refreshment. So Stress Away is one of my favorite oils to use during the day or at the end of a long day. Uh, for this very same reason um, with the inhaling, that's why so many children love them for study time and increasing focus. And peppermint is a favorite essential oil for that purpose. Peppermint is also great for soothing head tension and I use it regularly to give me a boost and a refreshing scent before exercise. Peppermint is also wonderful for soothing anything that's going on with the gastrointestinal tract and it's a key ingredient in a blend called Daijai. So sometimes it's fine to use one single oil by itself. Other times it's more effective to have the synergy of several oils together in a blend. Why would you want to use uh, these uh, toxic uh, air fresheners and candles? The candles and, and some of these fresheners are actually known to contain neurotoxins. Why not instead use a diffuser with essential oils that not only cleanse your air, they add a beautiful scent and the oils can also support your immune system. And Citrus Fresh is one of my favorite uplifting oils. The citrus oils have been known to increase levels of neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin. That's been shown in research. One of my favorite oils is Panaway. I love using the oils to soothe my joints, my knees, my back. And this is an oil that would be applied topically right to the area of concern. So I often use this right after exercise. Lavender is one of the most popular oils. And boy, I wish I knew about this when my kids were young. You can just apply a drop right behind the ear and down the neck a little bit to provide healthy ear support. It's also wonderful for sleeping, either a pre-bedtime massage, or you could just inhale it, or set up a diffuser with a few drops of lavender to promote restful sleep. This was me when I first heard about essential oils. I was having a need um, for wellness support in many areas of my body. I went to a holistic practitioner, and she held up a little bottle of oil. And I actually thought she was out of her mind. But then I was curious. I started to look into it. My family thought I was practicing some type of new age medicine. But I found out that there are over 26,000 studies on essential oils. And that really piqued my interest. Then I found out they're used in veterinary practices right in my own neighborhood, pharmacists, physical therapy offices, and hospitals. And so I was sold. Essential oils were safe, effective, and people were getting results. I was really impressed when I saw that some acupuncturists were dipping their needles into essential oils and they could tell the difference in quality of essential oils because they see what happens right there on the spot when they're taking care of someone. One of my favorite oils for respiratory support is Raven. 
Um, it gets there into the lungs and it opens up the air passageways to help support healthy breathing. I also love to apply Raven sort of right on my chest and my back um, before a yoga class to help support my breathing, which is such an important part of the yoga process. Immune support is a wonderful use for essential oils. And um, this is actually a picture of my diffuser that's in my bathroom all winter long for winter wellness. And that is a big topic that you will see me teaching about if you follow me on my blog and Facebook. This is a very interesting oil. And when I diffuse it in the morning, I know my body is ready to go. My immune system is revved up and that I am going to be fine all winter long. The story behind this oil is that uh, in about the 17th century, there was a plague in Europe and a lot of people were just being left dead in the streets because the authorities did not even want to go near this because it was so contagious. But there were a group of men going around robbing the valuables from the deceased people. And finally, when they were apprehended, they found out that they came from spice trading families. And that's why they were able to go into close contact with all of these uh, people and not get sick. They were using spices. And the formula for this thieves essential oil is actually based on that formula that they were using for protection. Uh, so again, going back to this issue of a bioaccumulation, it's so important, along with eating well, being connected to people, moving your body on a daily basis, just living clean in all aspects of your life. We now know that our immune system does a pretty good job of clearing the chemicals that we take in, but we get to a certain age where the immune system just cannot handle them anymore. And actually, the, uh, many of the chemicals are stored in our brain. And so we might start to feel brain fog, just not quite right. And we know from the research that um, this chemical burden on our body is uh, one of the biggest problems causing disease um, at fairly young ages even because we're exposed to such a large toxic burden. And of course, if you're breastfeeding, whatever's in your body gets passed through to your infant. Oops. So if you're interested in seeing what's in the, some of the products that you're using, just take your toothpaste or your moisturizer and take any chemical from the back and put it into Google, preceded by dangers of, and see what comes up. This is also an app that you could put on your phone from the Environmental Working Group called the Think Dirty app. And you could scan the labels of your products, the barcodes, and it will give you a rating. And if it's in the red, that means that that product contains one or multiple dangerous ingredients. And when you apply something to your skin, the chemicals are very often get absorbed within seconds right into your circulatory system. So here's a great example for skin care. Frankincense and lavender are both wonderful for, for promoting youthful looking skin. So why not put a few drops of that into a clean and safe moisturizer and apply that to your skin instead of serums that may contain ingredients that you don't want in or on your body. Young Living has many products. This is really um, so much more than essential oils. We help you and your family to start living chemical free right from infancy with a line of baby wipes, baby wash, um, oils for children, shampoo. Did you know that dioxane, uh, a, a known carcinogen, has been found in over 200 baby products, including shampoo? Nobody is watching. And so you need to educate yourself and just be really um, vigilant about checking labels and being careful to only use 
clean products. One of my favorite use of the citrus oils, especially lemon, is for cooking. The citrus oils can really brighten the flavor of a food. And most of us have been um, eating essential oils since we were children. Um, natural flavoring on a label is often referring to an essential oil flavoring. But this is a different quality um, when you read something on a label. What I'm talking here is about therapeutic grade essential oils. Ninja Red is Young Living's um, proprietary um, nutrition drink. It uh, contains uh, the Ninja Berry, which is the most nutritionally dense known food in the world, along with essential oils and uh, juice from berries. So this is something that I take and I give my family every day two ounces to support my cells with a very powerful source of antioxidants. This is probably one of my top five products, Thieves Cleaner. You get approximately, depending on what the dilution is, uh, this is a moderate dilution, 27 bottles of this plant-based essential oil infused cleaner with one bottle of Thieves Household Cleaner. So usually I just take two caps and I put it into a quart spray bottle and fill the rest up with water. And this cleaner has replaced every single cleaner in my household. I use it for everything. And instead of breathing in toxic chemicals while I'm cleaning, I'm actually supporting my immune system. Because remember that these oil that I spoke about? Well, that's what one of the uh, oil blends that this cleaner is made with. So important to know your oils. Uh, Young Living has a seed to seal process where the oils are constantly undergoing um, testing and inspection. And um, the oils are actually tested 23 times before they reach the consumer. This is very interesting. The government only requires that essential oils contain 5% oil. So that's why you can go into Walmart and buy an essential oil for $3. Um, not only will it be less effective, but we don't know what they're diluting it with because there's no labeling requirement. So be very, very careful about buying these oils, which are adulterated and diluted. Uh, Young Living has a very large team of scientists. The owner um, is actually um, a farmer, and uh, he cares deeply about the soil and the whole process. But we have the resources to send scientists out into the field every hour when the time arrives where we think it's going to be best for harvest. And they'll do a micro distillation and test the batches to make sure that they contain all the right compounds. And then when it's at the right level, that's the exact hour that we know is best to harvest. Cypress oil contains 288 compounds, but if the time of harvest is off by one hour, it only contains 10 compounds. So it's so important for a company to go into great detail to be able to um, really de deliver a pure oil that has everything that you expect so that they're effective. My favorite part of the essential oils is simply having a home inventory of natural wellness solutions. When something comes up for me and my family, it is a non-issue because I know that I can be confident having something on hand that is safe and effective. This contains many of the oils that we've been talking about. This is our premium starter kit, and it comes with a diffuser, 11 oils, uh, the Ninja Red, and the Thieves Cleaner. Um, by getting the uh, premium starter kit, you become a member and you can get up to 25% back in points for free products. And you also um, have the option um, to get other freebies um, every couple of months if you join 
um, our program where you get a monthly wellness box, you'll get um, free product at your door. And you also have the option if you want to share the product with others, but certainly there's no obligation at all to sell the product. But if you are interested, I have a training program that I could help you get started and do just what I do. Um, have a wellness business based from home that gives me some nice time freedom and residual income. So this is another look at the premium starter kit. It comes with all of those things plus a diffuser. I recommend the Desert Mist Diffuser and it's all for $160. And this is the only time that Young Living will discount uh, this deeply for all of these products. So it's really, um, it's a wonderful value, but it's also life changing. And it's not just the financial value. When you join on under me, we mentor you, either myself or if you come on under one of my leaders, we literally take you under our wing and give you personal guidance in using the oils in a way that you need. And that's really where the most value lies. So I hope you'll consider reaching out to me. You can order by going um, right onto my website, or you can contact me to see if I have any promotions running today that um, would apply to your order. So essential oils, the premium starter kit is so much more about oils. It's really about a total wellness lifestyle. And I would be honored to be your guide and your mentor to really make a, a, a big difference in your wellness. I appreciate your living, your listening in. I know your time is wellness. Your time is precious. And I, I would be so glad um, to hear from you. Feel free to contact me with any questions. Have a beautiful day.